Hey, say hello to my little friend. Hey guys, good morning from you know where, Southern Nevada. Hey, today we're gonna do a fun video, my son and I. I have this Rock Island 20 gauge single shot shotgun we're gonna review and just pick this up, brand new, have not shot it. So we're gonna go over it and then put some rounds through it, see how it shoots, but really cool looking shotgun. In fact, like I said, I have my son here. Hey son. How's it going? All right. What you got there? This is old Stumpy. Oh, Stumpy. Stumpy. You mind? Sure. All right, this is Stumpy. I bought this at Kmart, what, 20 years ago? At least 20 years, yeah. At least 20 years ago. They were, I think, 69 bucks at the time. This is a New England Arms model SB Partner. And, of course, made here in the U.S. Just a really cool shotgun. But check this out. I have an empty case here. Now, unlike the Rock Island, this one has automatic ejection. Woo, watch your eyeballs, son. <laughs> you don't want to look like this guy. <laughs> oh, Popeye? Oh, Popeye, yep. Yeah. So, let's uh, take a look at this, and then we'll start shooting. Okay, it comes in a plain cardboard box with a user's manual, of course. And here we go. Look at this, huh? Let me move this box here. Okay, first thing I want to do is take a nice close look at uh, this shotgun. Rock Island Imports Tradition 20 gauge 3 inch chamber. You know the stock is plastic, but I'll tell you what, it, that's a nice looking stock. It does come with two uh, Spacers already installed. These are each three-quarter inch and it does have uh, studs for a sling. And I have been to Pahrump, Nevada many many times and this is made in Turkey. And again, it's brand new. I have not shot it yet has a ventilated rib which is metal of course and I'll tell you what looks looks very nice and of course a front bead and it does not take chokes it is not threaded okay let's lock this back now look at it huh that's really a, a cool looking shotgun now to open this up just going to pull straight back on the trigger guard and she'll pop right open now this right here that's actually a, a rear sight and you can adjust the windage with this screw right here which will move it back and forth and the height is also adjustable you can flip it to a higher sight. Now this does not have an external safety but it is safe to carry loaded because the hammer will not go forward unless the trigger is pulled all the way. So perfectly safe to carry loaded. All right, let's take a look at the ammo. Okay, I've got some uh, Winchester, seven and a half. This guy right here. I've got Fedro, and this is seven eighths of an ounce. I've got some three buck, and there's 20 pellets in here. And we're also going to shoot some slugs. And that's this guy right here. 1600 feet per second. Alright, it is time to shut up and shoot. 
Okay, I'm going to start off with the uh, buckshot. I've got a target set up at about 15 yards. 20 pellets in here. Let's see what happens. Come on, son. Okay, all 20 pellets. So, hey, not too bad, huh? All right, let's try a bird shot. Oh, I love that echo. You know what? Let me try one more just for the fun of it. All right, I think it's lunchtime. Let's uh, shoot a buckshot. Come on up, son. was better whoa yikes Hey, say hello to my little friend. You ready, Popeye? Please, mister, don't shoot me. All right, let's see if I can take his other eye out. <laughs> Dad, let me show you how to do that with the 12 gauge. And that's how you do that. That's well, not a can, but I found your eyeball. Ooh, thank. Is that an eyeball? Yep. <laughs> Another yeah. eyeball. My gosh, it is. I don't know where the can went. Hey, I do want to mention the barrel length on this is about 19 and a half inches. You can also get these in 410 and also uh, 12 gauge. Now let me tell you why I did not get this in 12 gauge. Because these only weigh just a little over five pounds. And you know what, fully loaded, it's still just over five pounds. Um, if you've ever shot a 12 gauge shotgun that weighs five pounds with a three inch shell in it, it's something you only do once or twice. So I went with the 20 gauge just because of the recoil. Okay guys, time to play. What's in the can? I'm gonna shoot it with a slug. We'll see what happens. Yeah!
That, that was pretty awesome. Come on, son. Okay, one gallon of water versus one 20 gauge slug. Oh, that was pretty awesome. All right, let's try that with a 12 gauge slug. Okay, son, I'm going to throw this up. Think you can hit it? I'm going to give it a shot. Son, more this way. Yeah. You ready? Yep. Got it. You got it. I don't know if I got it on video, but you got it. Yeah. He dead. I'm going to try that again. Yeah. So, son, what do you think of that shotgun? I like it, but that kind of hurt. I had my, I was holding it there, and that little uh, oh, yeah, that's busted stuck. me. Yeah, yeah. that'll get you if you're not careful. Yeah, definitely got to watch that. But other than that, yeah, I like it. All right. Hey, you know, we had a blast today. You know, these single shot shotguns, are, they're pretty simple, but I'll tell you what, they are just a blast to shoot. You know, you can pick one of these up for a hundred bucks, $120, and I'll tell you what, worth every penny. You know, uh, for what it is, I would give this a 10 out of a 10. Just really a, a sweet little shooter. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching our video. And uh, if you would, hit that like button. And uh, we'll see you next time. Oh, Here's looking at you, kid. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. Ow.